going on guys Riggs here and I want to start off by saying thank you so much for the love and support that you have been showing the channel the views the likes the subs and as always I cannot wait to read all the comments <laughs> you guys's comments from this video the 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 hottest series on the channel next to quest for conquer is definitely going to be this one the how to play like a pro series and so many of you, so many of you in the very last one, of course, I'll always uh, have the link to the, that video down in the description. But how to play like a pro, we were featuring a Dexis. He's been bouncing back and forth between first and second place in the leaderboards in NA duos. And so, and I asked you guys, who do you want to see featured next? Who do you want? And not to my surprise, an overwhelming I mean, overwhelming amount of you have all said X Fate. That is right. So that's who we're going to be featuring. That's the gameplay you're watching on the screen right now. One thing before we jump into the video, I do want to ask you guys if you want to. I'm not going to be breaking down step by step, play by play for what you guys are seeing. Just enjoy the content I have for you, um, you know, on the screen there. If you want to see an actual like gameplay review. Let me know, and I'm sure Xfate, I'm sure he'll also be down in, in uh, the comment section in your guys' comments. So if that's something you want to see, I'm pretty sure I can get with Fate and make that happen. Uh, but this is solely going to be tips and tricks, how to make you a better player, and how to get a first... I mean, this is a rare glimpse, I mean, to find out how literally one of the best players in the game plays. Guys, it's 6,600 points right now um, in squads. All right, so here we go. So first and foremost, I wanted to ask him where he's from. I think it's very important. I think a lot of people like to know that kind of, uh, you know, those kinds of facts and things. So he's from the United States. He also mentioned that his parents are originally from Mexico. Uh, I also asked him, this is also important, how long you've been playing, right? So I made sure I asked him that. He says, he said, I started playing before PUBG Mobile even officially came out. Although once it was released, I didn't play as often up until season five when he got intrigued. So he did pick up the game early on, but didn't start getting more serious up until season five. Very, very interesting. I also asked him what device he plays on. So a lot of people are always talking about iPads and tablets and all these things, you know, the, the hottest phones on the market. Check this out. He says, I used to play on an iPhone 7, right? Phone player. I used to play on an iPhone 7. Then he says, the middle of season six, he switched to an iPhone XR. That is right, you guys. Let this be motivation for everyone who uses the excuse of, well, so-and-so is good because they're on a tablet. That's not always the case, or iPad or whatever. That's not always the case. I mean, some of the best players in this game, like this one, uh, X-Fate, is playing on a phone. Of course, I asked him, thumbs or claw? He says, four-finger claw. And he wanted to throw in there, he does not use gyro. Then I asked him what his favorite loadout was. He says uh, his favorite loadout is going to be AKM and the M416. We'll get into squad strategy a little bit later. But he, yeah, I mean, the, the few games that, that I watched him play, he did not have a sniper. He was always rocking uh, two ARs. But again, we'll get into that. Of course, I asked... Um, uh, how he configures each of these loadouts uh, when it comes to grips and uh, muzzle attachments and all that. So for the AKM, he rocks the red dot and he has an AR compensator. He says if he gets an MK14, uh, he'll use that instead of AKM and he has the MK14 on full auto, meaning he uses it as the close range rather than the far range weapon because that because the MK14 is very, very versatile like that. For the M416, he, uh, as far as scopes, he has the 6X, reduces it down to the 3, also has uh, an AR compensator attached to it, and a vertical grip is his grip of choice for that weapon. And then I asked him what his favorite scopes were. He says the 6X is easy to control, and you can <laughs> laser people mid and long range with ease. Very, very interesting about the 6X. Wanted, I want to quickly mention that was the same thing that Adexis said as well. So definitely take notes, you guys. I also asked him what his favorite map was. He says his favorite map, and you guys are going to see that next. His favorite map is, in fact, Myanmar. He says, in his opinion, it takes more skill and there's more competition on Myanmar. Very, very interesting. 
Uh, of course, I followed that up with what is his favorite hot drop. His favorite hot drop he mentioned is going to be uh, Picado. And uh, now we're going to get into some of the more meat and potatoes, if you will, uh, as far as some of these questions. I asked him, do you play with the same teammates all the time or do you switch up teammates? His reply was, if I'm not being contested for number one, then I play with anyone in my friends list. So one thing I would like to say, you guys, being the best, I mean, literally the best. I mean, there's not many people that have 6,600 plus points. You're not just playing with randoms. It's just not how it's going to work. You're going to be playing with other people uh, on your same level, if you will. These guys are all on the same page. They know what to do even when they don't even mean to do it. Uh, they're very, very uniform as far as how they play. Uh, so I thought that was going to be a very, very, I thought that was an important question to ask him, and I'm glad that uh, he answered that for us. Then I wanted to ask him <clears throat> a little bit about his clan, uh, X, right? X, uh, which stands for uh, execute. And this is what he says. He says, X was made so people that want to rank up, rank up to the top of the leaderboards can play and meet each other. We do scrims and tournaments here and there uh, and plan to enter into bigger ones. It's a 10 KD requirement clan with me being the last step uh, to joining by personally giving you a tryout. So if you, those of you guys out there watching this video are trying to join X, there's your requirements. Uh, I mean, pretty simple requirements, if you will. I mean, not easy, but simple as far as, hey, bam, you need a 10, you need a 10 plus KD. And you got to go through my man fate. You got to play with the man himself um, for a tryout. So very, very interesting. There's another important question I want to ask him. I said, how do you fix bad synergy after a loss? Especially with someone with such a high win ratio. I really, really wanted to ask him this question. His response was, it says, mainly when we lose, uh, if I'm playing with my clanmates, then I go over what we did wrong. It's always good to analyze what could have been done better from getting um, some knocks before pushing or getting an extra angle on your enemy, so on and so forth. Comms is really is a really big deal as well, so we can have better synchronized teamwork. Uh, so these guys are always going to be on voice when they are playing. Very, very interesting. Uh, another one I want to ask him because people are always talking about uh, conquer. Oh, it's easy to get conquer. You know, just you know, uh, you know, conquer players just dropping soft or, or doing cold drops. So I wanted to actually ask him that. I said, do you hot drop, cold drop, uh, split compounds? You know, what what is their their strategies as far as that goes? Uh, he says, I would say I hot drop. He goes, I would hot I hot drop one third uh, the amount of time. The other two third, uh, the other two thirds, I cold drop. Although that doesn't stop people from coming with us. Something I've also mentioned in videos, especially when you're in conquer, some of the safe, some of the quote unquote safest compounds you can land in, like Gatka, when it's 1,200 meters away, you could have three or four teams land with you there. Um, so again, something I wanted to ask him. And I said, does each squad member have a certain role? Shot caller, scout, driver, etc. If so, what are the roles of each member? So this is his response. He says, I'm always the driver, so I can put us behind cover when pushing a squad or getting some knots. Usually I like having one to two snipers in the squad while the rest of us are shooters. Of course, X Fate being a shooter, always with uh, when I asked him what his favorite loadout was being the two ARs. Um, he says, if we get an knock, we separate into two and go two going left and two going to the right flank. The way that uh, he says that way, the enemy has no cover. If we are pushing with a car and the enemy is peeking, three of us push and the fourth guy stays back and snipes the enemy when they try to laser us. He says works every time for that free knock. Guys, you need to take note of this. I mean, this is. This is literally behind the scenes of how to become a better player. Literally learning from one of the best people. Pushing with three people, having one guy stay back. Wait till you guys hear some of these tips that are coming up right now. I told them what are your five fav or what, what five tips would you tell somebody to become a better player? And this is what he said. Tip number one, cover fire um, with exclamation point. He says, I can't stress this enough. If a teammate is pushing, or knock, and then uh, you start shoot. You start shooting at the enemy, even if they are not peeking. Uh, you start uh, you shooting will scare them into staying back 
while your teammate revives slash, uh, slash pushes. So, so important. We actually started doing this in our clan. Not to take the spot off, spotlight off of fate. This is all about him. But I'm just saying, after he told me that, we tried it and it literally worked. Even if you're not hitting the person, just hearing those shots um, coming at you um, can that can make the difference in those few seconds of you doing getting that push or uh, buying you time in order to get that revive. So, so important. Here comes the next one. Number two, he says, carry throwables, exclamation point. Throw grenades, molotovs, every chance you get to avoid that gunfight. He says, make smoke paths when you're crossing in the open or reviving a teammate. Also something just to play on. Also something that Adexis mentioned. Um, always throw smokes at loot boxes or drops to avoid getting hit in the open. I think a lot of us know this. But I think a lot of us are not actually, don't, don't always do it. We'll think, okay, you know, it's safe. You know, there's nobody here, this and that. Um, and that, that one time you don't do it is the time that you're getting lasered. So anyway, just, just some food for thought. Here's a third tip. He says, abuse proning. Something else I want to get into. <clears throat> he says, abuse proning. He says, when you get a chance to shoot someone from long to mid range, prone, it will make, le it will make less recoil for any gun that you have. This is also something that you guys have been seeing on the screen is the drop shotting. Uh, drop shotting, I've always made a joke. You can check my other videos where I've made jokes saying, you can't find my prone button. That is the stupidest thing I could have ever done is to hide my prone button just to, you know, we're not talking about snaking here. We're talking about proning out when you're shooting mid to long range to have less recoil to make sure you're hitting your targets or when you're drop shotting i started drop shotting the fake clan members making fun of me the other night um because i was trying to practice drop shotting or like bots and stuff um this is these types of strategies is what's really going to it it really heightens your gameplay it brings you to that next level, when it becomes second nature, when it becomes muscle memory, uh, doing things like drop shotting. And it's it's an absolute incredible, incredible strategy. Let's continue this. Tip number four, he already mentioned, but we'll talk about it again. Always have cover. He says, when fighting a team, make sure to have cover. If you get knocked, it's important the enemy team can't thirst you so your team can get you back up. Um, and that could be anything. That could be buildings. That could be rocks. That could be walls. That could be trees. I mean, just about anything. And not only having cover, cover can come from smoke screens. Also something, all these things kind of intertwine. Uh, you can't have one without having the other type of thing. Here's the next one. Tip number five right here. Um, he says, flank the enemy. Flanking is one of the most important strategies. He says, uh, that I always use when fighting squads. If your team is shooting from one direction, use a car or run to a different angle with cover. This way the enemy will be pinned by being shot from two different directions, uh, which is also something that he mentioned. Again, uh, all these things kind of intertwining uh, about his squad strategies. Two flanking right, two flanking left, depending on the situation. Three pushing with only with one guy staying back just lasering anytime someone will peek because they'll, they'll know those other three people in the squad are pushing but then you got one guy just kind of sitting far back and just laying down those shots these this is this right here you guys is pretty much the PUBG mobile almanac <laughs> in order to become a better player guys like I've said it before these are just these are the facts no one else is bringing you this type of content i want to personally thank fate for taking uh for for taking his time taking his sweet time he was so detailed and so thorough with these answers i could not believe it i really want to thank fate for taking his time uh into answering the questions and doing it for you guys doing it for you if you're interested in joining x fate or not X Fate and joining X and uh, join uh, joining uh, Execute. They do have a Discord server. I'll leave the link to X's uh, Discord server uh, down in the description of this video. Also, do me the favor, please. He wants to build up his channel. 
And what better what better time than now to go ahead and drop Fate a sub? It would mean the world to me. The dude is literally a legend, if you guys haven't figured it out right now. Number one ranked squad player. Let me know who you want to see featured next. I'll do my best to contact them if you are a pro player yourself. Whether you're, you're pushing the leaderboards or whether you're a, a comp, uh, competitive player, please um, hit me up. Join my Discord server. The link to that's always in the description. Uh, or if you know somebody, hit them up. Tell them to hit me up. A lot of hitting up is going on here, uh, but it makes it a lot easier to get a hold of some of these people uh, You know, in order to make these, video, make these videos happen for you guys. Bridging the gap between... The amateurs and the pros are doing it right here on Riggs Gaming. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys go ahead and drop uh, Fate a sub as well. Until the next video, hopefully you enjoyed it. This has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming.